all the companies that can recruit you or employ you from overseas are the companies i'm going to be sharing in today's video especially if you're a care worker and you're looking for a visa sponsorship job you don't have to apply to all care companies i'm going to be showing you how you can check and also to find out the cqc regulated care companies that you can apply to in 2024 now cqc regulated companies are companies that can give you sponsorship from overseas to the uk hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is fajura if you're joining me for the very first time or you're seeing this beautiful face for the very first time i'm so happy to have you all in our beautiful family for my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back to watch my videos i really do appreciate god bless you if you're new to this channel i create content on how you can migrate to the uk jobs with visa sponsorship in the uk uk immigration updates live in the uk scholarships in the uk like everything you can think about the uk so if you're someone who is interested in such content do hit on that subscribe button turn on the notification bell so each time i upload a new video you're definitely going to be the very first person to see that video so guys let's quickly dive right into today's video but before we do that please do like and share this video with your friends and loved ones this video will definitely be helpful to them so we know a lot of changes have taken place especially in the uk immigration right now and if you're currently overseas and you're thinking of moving to the uk to work now if you're planning to come to the uk to work like i said not all care homes you should be applying to because some care homes are still on the register of the licensed sponsors but they cannot sponsor you from overseas because they are not CQC regulated. And one of the questions I've been receiving all the time regarding companies that are CQC regulated is for me to show you how you can check that before applying because people have wasted their time applying to companies that are on the register of the licensed sponsors, not knowing that those companies are not CQC regulated. So like I said, I'm going to be doing the demo so that you will see how to check. So before you send your application to any care home, you know that this care home can sponsor their CQC regulated. The things I would like to let you know is that, for instance, let's say we have Fajira Care Home, like it's a big company and they've got different branches. Now, there are some branches that are still Fajira Care Homes in different locations that cannot sponsor you because they are not CQC regulated. So I will show you a demo on that so that when applying to companies, you know exactly which company you're applying to. You also know if this company can sponsor you. But before we get right into the demonstration, I would love to share what the CQC means and how, what and what they check for in care organizations. So this enables you to know the kind of care organizations you should apply to. Just to remind you, and like we all know that the UK government have said that only care homes that are CQC regulated are qualified to sponsor you from overseas. Secondly, if you're already in the UK and you are working with a care company that is not CQC regulated, you don't have to worry yourself because they can still continue to sponsor you because they are still operating, but they cannot bring in people from overseas. So just as you can see on my screen, what is the Care Quality Commission? The Care Quality Commission, which is the CQC, is an independent body that regulates and inspects health and other social care services in England. The commission ensures that these services are run safely, effectively, and with a focus on care and compassion. Their work covers hospitals, dentists, care homes, and the domiciliary care services across the country. Like we know, if a company is not CQC regulated, they cannot sponsor you from overseas this is the new rule that took effect in the previous tax year so if you're applying for a care home you always have to check any care company that is not CQC regulated the home office will not approve their COS but at the same time the home office as well have declined some COS application from care homes that are CQC regulated but I'm sharing this because I've been getting a lot of questions from my beautiful viewers how do I check how will I know that this care home is CQC regulated now i'm going to leave the link i'm using in this demonstration in the description of this video so please copy the link and make sure you have this link handy so each time you see any care advert just go straight to this link and type the name and search then read everything the CQC have written about that care organization before you send in your application because one of the things that a lot of people have suffered they just keep sending applications to all care homes and they come to me to say oh Vagira, we've applied to 100 care homes we have not received any positive feedback we've applied to this we've done that that's because those care homes yes they are registered to sponsor but they do not have CS and they are not CQC regulated so moving forward please don't make the mistake of just sending your application to every care home 
you see make sure you use this link i'm going to be leaving in the description of this video please guys like and share this video with your friends and loved ones because i know a lot of people will definitely benefit from this to share my screen to show you that now search for care homes home care agencies hospitals gp dentists and other health or social care services see there are four boxes that you have to fill out what you're looking for always suggest that when doing your search leave it at all services the second one is service name or specialism optional and distance optional you can just leave those other ones blank so what i do before I ask people to go and apply for any key organizations, what I do, I'm going to use Bupa as a case study. So Bupa, B-U-P-A. Bupa is a big key organization that has helped a lot of people switch their sponsorship. One thing about Bupa is that they've got loads of care homes across the UK. Let's say you're looking for a Bupa care home in London. It will come up with various branches and you cannot choose the one to apply to. Or you go on their website and see if there is any job advert and apply to them so i've just typed in bupa just as you can see on my screen bupa all i have to do is just to go to search just as you can see remote clinical advice bupa insurance service limited bupa place overall good as you can see overall good lots of their companies are overall good so just go through them and see the ones that are care companies go to their website and see if they've got any vacancy and you apply to them using bupa as a case study and i'm using bupa because a lot of my viewers have gotten their switches from Bupa. So just as you can see, just keep going through and you will see all the rates, even the ones that the CQC have not done their inspection, you will also see it as well. Then I'm just going to use another care company as well that I know have helped a lot of migrants that got stranded switch their sponsorship. So that company is called CareMark, just as you can see on my screen. So KMAC is going to come up just as you can see with all their various branches. KMAC Coventry, overall good. KMAC Aaron, overall good. KMAC Bansley, requires improvement. So this particular one that says requires improvement, you don't have to apply good. So if KMAC Solid Hall is overall good, all you have to do is to go to the KMAC Solid Hall website and see if they've got any job vacancy and apply to like i said you could see one care name with various branches for the fact that care mark solid hall is overall good doesn't mean that all other care mark in various locations are overall good just make sure you check for the specific location and ensure that they are overall good before you send in your application so like i said this link will be very useful to everyone that is planning to apply for a job in the UK. For even those who are currently in the UK that are planning to switch, remember you can only switch to a care company that is CQC regulated if you're currently in the UK and your license has been revoked. So make sure you use this link. I'm going to leave this link, like I said, in the description of this video. Any key organization you see, before you apply to that key organization, make sure you check their rating on the CQC website, which is what I've just shared with you. So CQC regulated. and. In cause of my job recently, I have filed about five to six visa applications. And most of the people that got those CUSs, they got it from companies that are CQC regulated as care workers or healthcare assistants. And also some of them were from NHS. So why doing this? And I also had to go and check all the companies they got their CUSs from are CQC regulated companies. So if you have one of those that have been throwing your applications east, west, south and north, please just stop because that's really stressful make sure you spend some time to go through the company and see if it is CQC regulated and the easiest way you can check is this method i've just shared it's a very simple and straight method is this method i've just shared with you so always make sure you do that before you send your application to any key organizations okay so guys this brings us to the end of today's video and i hope you find this video helpful and if you do find this video helpful please do like and share with your friends and loved ones and also do subscribe if you're yet to join our beautiful family until i see you in my next video guys do take care and have a lovely day thank you very much for watching bye bye for now